Saluting the Special Operations Executive, or SOE. The new solitaire air war game from Historic Wings and Thomas Van Hare, that's right, that's me, is called SOE Lysander. This video is the first of a series that explains how to play. In the game, you're a single pilot, part of A flight of the Royal Air Force No. 161 Squadron SD, which stands for Special Duties. During the Second World War, the squadron operated at night, navigating only by the light of the moon. They flew deep into German-occupied France and landed to drop off agents and cargo, pick up others, and fly them back to England. A-Flight flew the Westland Lysander, a high-wing, single-engine plane originally designed for artillery spotting and light attack. However, during the Battle of France, the plane proved to be hopelessly outclassed by Germany's aircraft. Yet the Lysander found its true calling flying with A-Flight. Month after month, during the two weeks around the full moon, when there was enough light to navigate by at night, a small group of about a half a dozen Lysander pilots flew their airplanes across the English Channel. Once over German-occupied France, they landed in farm fields and on abandoned airstrips, delivering agents and assassins, wireless operators and saboteurs, and others deep into enemy territory. As Winston Churchill famously ordered, the Lysanders helped set Europe ablaze. In this game, you recreate those night flights. You play as one of the pilots of A-Flight, which usually had only about six pilots in all. You fly your missions as they are assigned, carrying out gameplay on a row of terrain cards. You work your way from RAF Tangmere, your airbase on the southern coast of England, to the landing zone, where you drop off agents and cargo, explosives, Bren guns, ammunition, and more, while the Germans and the dreaded Gestapo hunt you down. To begin your gameplay, your first step is easy. You roll up a pilot. A series of tables will define your experience, your rank, number of flight hours, and more. You record these results in two key documents, the SOE Mission Diary and the Pilot Logbook. The SOE Mission Diary is your personal journal like a flight diary. The pilot logbook is a mission-by-mission -mission record of your flight time with a summary of your operations and the dates you flew each one. So let's get started. In sequence of play A, or SOPA, the first step is to determine your pilot's mix of skill chits. But what is a skill chit? Well, in rough terms, skill chits are a measure of your pilot's experience level. The more you fly and the more success you have, the more skill chits you earn. There are three types of skill chits in the game. Moxie chits, pilotage chits, and sixth sense chits. The main use of moxie chits is to avoid taking damage when you come under fire from the enemy. For instance, if you encounter an 88mm flak battery while over France, you might take a few hits. But by applying your moxie chits, you can somehow dodge the damage that a lesser pilot would have suffered. Pilotage chits are a direct measure of your skill as a pilot. The better you are, the more risks you can take and survive. You can make a landing in bad weather or manage a takeoff from a rough field where another pilot who's less capable would have crashed. And sixth sense chits allow you to see ahead that is, to intuitively know about a potential threat that might be coming. It's that hair-on-the-back-of-the-neck feeling you get when you orbit a field in France, and it isn't the resistance down there waiting, but the Gestapo hiding among the trees. So let's prepare our pilot. I'll name this one after myself, Thomas Tango Van Hare. The first step is to roll for my initial pilot training on Table A1. Okay, I've got a six. That's the magician. That means I have two pilotage, two moxie, and five sixth sense chits as my starting mix. Next, I roll on table A2. This determines my initial rank. Okay, an eight. So that means I'm a flight sergeant. The RAF had a lot of non-officers as pilots, which is something you don't see much these days. They called them sergeant pilots. Now the good news is, unlike being in a Spitfire or Hurricane Squadron, 
Advancement in number 161 squadron while flying Lysander comes really quickly. I'll probably be a warrant officer soon, and even likely make it to pilot officer by Christmas. Now, I'll roll on table A3 to work out how much flight time I have. Okay, that's a 4. That's 350 hours plus 4d6 of hours, which means... Uh, that's 12, add that to 350, is 362 hours of daylight flight time. Before I forget, let me write that in the top right-hand column of my pilot logbook. And for night time, it's 100 hours plus 2d6. Okay, a 2 and a 4, that adds up to 6, so I have 106 flight hours, which I enter into that column. Finally, I roll on table A4 to see which aircraft will be assigned to me in the squadron. That's a 4. So that's tail number V9353 with MAG written as the fuselage code on the side of the plane. I start off based at RAF Tempsford, so that's it for pilot setup. Fast and easy. Now there are two other things that I need to mention. First, the tables are ordered by sequences of play, or SOPs. It's easy to know that way what tables go with what SOP. Second, those of you who already have the book will note that this is the same pilot roll-up that's included in the example of play on page 51. Future How to Play videos will not feature the same mission in the book, however. So that's it. This is Historic Wings, and I'm Thomas Van Hare. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video channel. Have fun going through my past videos, which are all aviation related. And thanks for your patronage. And remember, there's always more to the story.